Previously on the Danger Club podcast. Evacuate the town. Sick Wolf Plus. Focus in. El Chemical Beast is on its way. Did we save the town? Brim Bernice has got his arms around Sick Wolf and we're all heading to the tavern just dismissively cast sleep on the guy. <laughs> Fulton, you, you came back. I, I did, brother. You didn't kill me, lad. You made me live. I, I just want you to know I love you. Something's very wrong. There's nobody here, lad. The boneyard's empty. The adventure continues now. (laughs) Step in time. Tell Ooh. me we're not recording. Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is quality. That is, we're settling in now. That's, uh, yeah. That is pure danger. Club. Unbelievable. Colin, you look like a million bucks. Have you been, you've been cycling? You've been getting, getting some fitness cycling in? Cycling makes you look good, doesn't it, apparently? I don't know, does it? Is that swimming? Well, it does, but it depends on what bike you've got. <laughs> <laughs> recycling yeah. definitely does. Recycling. Go and recycle, yeah. danger. Recycle. Yeah, makes you look excellent. Yeah, tweet us world. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Geldof. <laughs> Is um, Bob Geldof your world? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Russ, I just, uh, oh. I got the wrong Bob. <laughs> I'm Bob <Billy>. Geldof. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob I've Thornton. Had a very hard oh, this is Robert Zimmerman. Uh, <laughs> famous, I changed my name to Bob Dylan. I didn't listen to two words. <laughs> I just heard Bob. <laughs> hey, fuck so, off. Where's Colin? Where's Dan's so, lamp that you can punch? Hey, yeah, oh, yeah, you see, oh, yeah. Can you see my lamps across the other side of the room? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a similar <laughs> one to James. I'm, well. I'm in the it lamp is. place. So so I'm, I'm worried about getting smacked in the face. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm not saying I am going to punch Drummond. I'm just saying there is a format. It's worked for 100 episodes and we should stick with it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Danger Club podcast. Hey! Hey, Drum, just stay physically distanced and uh, you yes. should be fine. I, yes, I like to use physically distanced, not social distance. I see. Yes. Better than digitally distanced. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Spiritually distance. Or long distance. Mathematically distance. Short distance. Tweet us distance. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet us metric system. <laughs> Naturally distanced. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I have been cycling, Dan. Yeah. Me, me, uh, oh. me, Ross, and uh, James. Just to go back to what you were saying. Wow, yeah. We're yeah. just flying in and out, like we're just <laughs> swooping back over that. Just like, it's like jazz, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's you do. It's what you do. Ramble, man. Yeah, but when you when you're a cyclist, you get used to just whipping around the place. Just yeah. you left, right. No, in the I middle. Do. The two directions you <laughs> can go. Forwards, backwards. Forwards. You can go down a little bit and you can go up a little bit. Are you um, guys the new vegans? Is this what's happening here? Oh. What's that? What's that? That's a oh, band, vegan. isn't it? The new vegans. The new vegans. Brand new vegans. Try the new brand new vegans. But yeah, no, uh, it's, uh, just, just talking for Colin. Uh, we have been cycling, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. Have Ross came out for the Where cycle. have you yeah. cycled? We went all the way way. down to nearly Hammersmith, (gasps) which if you live in London from where we began is a long, long way. We got opposite Fulham, Fulham Football Ground, and we went, uh, I think we should probably go back otherwise. What, what, because it was Fulham or just... Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, basically. No, Uh, no. big up Fulham. The trouble is, is like it's very much the there's a pub just around the next corner, and there wasn't there wasn't actually any pubs around any <laughs> yeah, next corner. Yeah, yeah. And they got to Woodland, and we we're like, yeah, I think we should turn around and go back to that pub way back then. Um, <laughs> but it was a lovely day, wasn't it? Lovely it was a lovely day. day. Yeah, nice. lovely, lovely day. day. Yeah. Oh, so I, lovely, we, I was under the impression it was many days he had been doing it on the reg. Oh well, me and uh, me and James have been on a couple of yeah. Okay, right, yeah, right. Yeah. In fact, we brought a lot of this gear over for this new home. Yeah, um, not giving any details away though. But yeah. uh, yes, we yeah, we, right. we cycled it over. Lovely, round the canals. You going to oh. do any of those like long like London to Brighton cycles or any of the? Uh, do you know what? I'm not mentioning how this year's rubbish, but I was going to do that this year. Oh, uh, we, yeah, I was going to announce it, and I was going to I was going to do it in the name of the Danger Club. I was going to go down there and uh, yeah, put our we, flag on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Last we, night, we all, we all did. Gonna, Go on, no, go on, me. Oh, sorry, I was going to shit on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a reference that another dangerous. Yeah, yeah. But that's don't an old, shit on, old shit on the beach. Don't shit on the beach. Now we all went for a little walk, didn't we, from Brighton to Eastbourne? Yeah, we did well, that. Yeah, right. yeah, I mean, Colin didn't, but we will do it again. I mean, we, after we went over those seven sisters, cool. 
That that's a lie. There are there are seven sisters and thirty cousins. (laughs) (laughs) There are so many sisters that just get going. Going back to your question, Dan, which I believe was directed at me. Yeah, uh, but someone else answered. (laughs) All right, mate. (laughs) I'm sorry. I thought I was speaking on behalf of. I was going to cycle to uh, Whitstable the other day, but then I ended up catching the train. Whitstable, incidentally, was another trip that you lot went on that I didn't. Oh. So I don't know what's going on here, but just didn't think, you know, we reaching didn't... ultimate levels here. In it, yeah, we yeah, did yeah, just, yeah, but we just I'm... befriended a wits to wits to billion. 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 Now, that that, that shows that, that shows that you're not from around there because it's a wits to bubblyan. So <laughs> tweet us wits to bubble. A wits yeah. to bubblyan. Yeah, mate, you live in the bubble. Wits to bubble. Nice. See, this is yeah. but this is why we didn't invite you because we just lower your street cred. Yeah. It would be like it literally rude dog and the dweebs. <laughs> to be honest, I probably that. would have come down and then just seen my family and friends. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> seen you out for a drink and been like, "All right, guys, sorry, I'm with this lot." Uh, 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 some fucking they oysters. <laughs> yeah. and then go oh, for yeah. a go for a cycle on the old crab and wink away. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's a nice cycle. It's a that lovely is. I'd cycle. love to do that. Let's do that. Of- Cycle from Whitstable to Canterbury. I'll be honest, that was mostly for our American listeners who I know would appreciate the fact there is somewhere called the Crab and Winkle Way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a lovely name. It sounds like a Do you know what? Actually, a bit of history about that. That's an old railway line, yeah? Mm. And it was the uh, first passenger railway line. However, Liverpool to Manchester gets that crown of being the first passenger railway. Why, why, why is that? Something about the it. fact that at one point back in the day, like it was... It was old school this this railway right yeah. uh, there was a winch and the part of the hill where they used to have to winch the train up the hill so I think Liverpool to Manchester was the first one that didn't have uh, that so, it got dis- so that one got discounted because yeah, of the yeah, winch yeah. welcome yeah. to uh, <laughs> railway history with Colin Hubbard <laughs> yes do you want to know something that will shock you to your core no yeah. I was a member of the uh, railway club when I was at school and I was <laughs> significantly bullied for it but I got to go to York Railway Museum once and it was fucking great me and the one other Sounds person who was in that club did you do what you do with every other club and just make fun of the people that are in that club yes <laughs> like when you- uh, that 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 boy went on to uh, to go lengthy prison sentences and uh, and live a scarred life. You go larping, you're like. <laughs> I mean, literally, I, I joined this club to get away from the bullying, and the only other member is bullying me incessantly and has just pushed me in front of a train for lols. <laughs> I'm Isn't it sad when you're a kid that people bully you for like shit you're into? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, oh well, you're into that. Cool, nice one. Yeah. I just like yeah. killing birds. I mean, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I was in uh, I was in Scouts and that that I was in Scouts and a Warmer Forty Thousand nerd. So I I had to be very careful of what I said in my in my school. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got out. They found out. Oh, what oh. happened? It's all right. Well, I never tried to hide it. I used to, I went to school wearing a brown trench coat for a while, just to, you know. Just because, why not? I like Dick and Tracy. And you like killing birds. <laughs> and I like, I like bird. no, I don't actually. I, 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 no, I, I abhor animal cruelty of any kind. Um, but I did no, used to wear a brown trench coat. Training. Kids, yeah. kids can be cruel, man. This is the thing. I found they this can. Out. Well, because um, when I was walking around my hometown, going out for a picnic um, with with the family, um, wearing my like rainbow flowing coat and and my also rainbow top and and and, and a skirt, a very bright skirt, and some kids who were swimming in the river shouted out nonce at me <laughs> um, and I, I thought to myself these kids don't know what a nonce is if I was a nonce I would not be wearing these bright colours I'd be wearing a trench coat like yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Well, I used to wear it when I was 12 and hiding yeah. in the bushes yeah. these yeah. kids yeah. are idiots so anyway I, I, I do hope you put them right in that tone of voice do you know what oh, excuse I, me I, I think I've had a nonce I actually, <laughs> I actually sort of did because we ended up walking you know, and yeah. then coming back, and they were coming out. They were walking out of the of the water by that time, and they saw me and had to walk past me and look me in the eye. I was like, "Feeling better, are you, lads? Calm down a little bit. Have you worked out what our nonsense?" And they all went, well, you, "You just look weird." And we're looking at the ground. I was like, "Well, maybe you should grow up a little bit and walk past them." Oh, oh. oh. dad burn. Oh. Dad energy. <laughs> I wish I wish I had that level of cool and collectedness when I was going through a park in London wearing wearing a paisley cape uh, a few months back, and a bunch of youths went by and went, "Yo, man is dressed like a bandana." <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, I don't know if they were having a go or giving you a compliment. I think they were just staying the obvious. I think they were just rather astute. Uh, I, yeah, I think they were, but yeah. they passed their perception check. I think it was like, yeah. fair play. Yeah. I stopped and I was like, that is correct. I am dressed <laughs> quite like a bandana. <laughs> I used to wear a leather trench coat every, you know, because the Matrix came out. So I used to wear like yeah, a yeah. long leather trench coat anyway because I thought it made me look like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> and actually it made me look like the bit in The Seven Dwarfs when they all stand on each other's shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. everyone, oh, that was the time to be into leather trench coats. Yeah. So selling them everybody bought leather trench coats yeah, those oh, perfect days when you're like oh it's sunny but it's also cold enough to wear a long jacket and it's windy so I'm going to go with my sunglasses and my long jacket and it'll billow and I'll feel like a superhero <laughs> look like a dick yeah <laughs> I can't wait to go out cycling in that outfit <laughs> <laughs> just down the all the is, hills the coat gets caught in the chain yeah. you go over the thing ah yeah. oh, it's painful that's the British Matrix isn't it where they're in the Matrix but yeah. they're on bikes <laughs> going down to Whistable to fight the agents who are trying to sell cockles yeah yeah the, old crab and winkle way. the, the two the twins like the cool twins in it who in the second one or whatever yeah. who I don't do, were they who, cool well, they were pretty cool like, yes, I think at cool. the time but they were like they were the DIY guys from some home in Improvement show in the UK. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was their only other yeah. credit. They were like yeah. the handyman on it. Not a lot of cool twins help. around back then. I've got to go with them, haven't they? Yeah, they yeah, were meant to be yeah. ghosts, weren't they? They could like phase through stuff. They phase, yeah. Oh, it's just. Oh. Uh, the They're Matrix. a bit Marvel, the Matrix. Oh, I, I, and it's just become one film, really, hasn't it? Let's just forget about two and three. They mm-hmm. didn't. They didn't really happen. New ones coming out. No, apparently so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Well, they reboot. Well, it's not reboot. It's a uh, rebrand. Yeah, rebrand. A re-roll. It's got Keanu oh. in it, I think. Of course, what? that's Keanu's cool. in it. Yeah, of course. Think, he yeah, does he probably will be. Man, he doesn't he age. He does looks. He, he looks younger than he did when he did the original. Like, yeah. It's yeah. The, yeah. Big up Keanu. Tweet, tweet, tweet us, Keanu. By all accounts. Yeah, that's please. what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, please, please tweet us. Yeah. Heard he's good to work with. You know, I couldn't. He's a lovely, lovely. He does seem really nice. Really humble. We should probably like. Yeah, what's big up Keanu Reeves? Welcome to our half an hour pramble. If you're if you're if you're listening, Keanu, do drop us a line at the Danger Club podcast if you want to come. Oh, he listens every week. I love that guest show. This is DCP one hundred part five. It's just us talking about like what we like. Trying to get Keanu Reeves to come up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's just because we're trying to avoid the mass of monsters yeah it's just true for us yeah. Yeah. sorry Dan I ruined your link and also also at the end of that you did reveal that he was sitting up for six months Dan well done Ugh. that was that was quite a dramatic climactic yeah. ending did right? you even tell your partner yeah. just like and I'm like I wouldn't, she wouldn't care <laughs> 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 if anything um, she would be annoyed um, no I just yeah I've just been like I can't tell anyone there's there is no one in the group that I can tell that we've got this thing that this thing is about to happen wow you did say you were keen to get on with it because there was something I remember you mentioned it once yep. um, but you never never let slip it was that I was genuinely taken back yeah surprised. You, uh, after you, the you I mentioned it him. once Sorry. you misheard him he said he was Keanu to get on with it <laughs> <laughs> he was keen to Whoa. you know reeve it behind hey. um, <laughs> um but the, yeah, and it was it was nice because it was offset by the sort of sweet and touching and also sort of rather hilarious <laughs> meet up that Bolton had with his brother. <laughs> Man, your Christmases must have been crazy <laughs> in the like, Battlestone Fort. It was just like it was just like, oh, and I've I've contacted you from beyond the grave. And do you like sex? <laughs> <laughs> I've not got much time. So have you been with us, half elf? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was great. It's very funny. They are very clearly brothers, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just. I think through the whole thing, I was like, Dallin needs. Dallin needs a bit more. He needs a bit more personality. But I just, I'll just lean into everything that Fulton has implied or said about him as if it's absolutely true, and then we'll <laughs> add a little bit of like if he wants and see what he ends up. As. <laughs> That's where he went. Come on in, yeah. let's fight some zombies. Let's do yeah. this. Sake. That was a. Uh, so things have taken a little bit of a dark turn. Um, <laughs> to to say, I, I mean, I'm sorry if you loved Plaguestone, the, uh, the no, city of Tales. no, gotta say, I mean, Sick Wolf has spent a year there. I hate the place. <laughs> what a miserable skid mark of a town. <laughs> Yeah. In a, well, in a, it's gone now. It's gone now, is it? <laughs> well, I tell you what, we should, what we should do is get into the stone because the zombies aren't going to get into the stone, are they? Because it's full of plague. <laughs> we could become the plague stone. <laughs> we will be the blight. It's cla- classic for Brimbone, who was trying to get like you know people out of the town, and now the hordes have moved in. Tell you what, there was a bloody Foxton somewhere in Plague's there, wasn't there? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> driving around with their mini, they're, yeah. they're off. 
It's the Whitstable of Galarian. <laughs> See, I don't know where this comes from. Man. Oh, like, it's because you're a Whitz- Whitstable Bolivian. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry, Whitstable. You're probably Whitstable. Whitstable. So, yeah, Twitter's Whitstable. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry again, Whitstable. <laughs> I guess it's so, like somewhere <laughs> on a little river, Dilri and the beer moths just kind of bob up out from out, out of the thing, look over at the zombie army they've missed and are like, ooh, lucky and just kind of you You say they look over but we all know that's not true don't we (laughs) what's happening what's happening describe it to me he just pulls in the water hello (laughs) shall we find out what happened to everyone after you were overwhelmed with zombies I think that's a good idea I think so too so you were as the uh, as the hordes swarmed over all of you. Um, we sort of pan back, and we can just see this vast army just pouring into Plaguestone, just tearing through the buildings. Uh, and you guys just disappeared under uh, underneath it all, uh, rapidly losing consciousness as as just blow after blow rains down. Um, the first, we're going to jump forward in time a few times as we go this. And we're going to go around. Kivan, we're going to go to you first. Okie dokie. Um, you wake up. You're in the back of a wagon. Um, there is a bag over your head. Um, you're very badly hurt. Like, you can feel bruises. Maybe a couple of ribs are broken. You, can, you, can't, you can't see much. You can just see shapes kind of uh, around you. And you can just feel the rat wagon kind of thumping on the ground um, as it just sort of... I did a little bounce there um, <laughs> as it kind of trundles along some car, um, a, a track uh, as you lie there and you can hear sounds of various people move around you think there are people in the wagon with you but it's quite hard to tell uh, what would you like to do? Uh, am I tied up? Um, you are not currently tied I'm up you tied feel up. and you don't have any of your equipment you can't feel okay. your weapons okay, okay so no weapons uh, not tied up but I've got a bag on my head yeah um, okay so well I will remove the bag from my head okay. then first if you I can manage it go to you start tugging at the bag that's tied around your neck to try and uh, try and loosen it uh, a figure steps up um, and sort of stands over you looking down at you um, and just stares at you as, as you kind of look up at it uh, alright mate um, I appear to have a bag on my head <laughs> any help? <laughs> the creature just <gasps> and then just rains punches oh, down into your face bloody hell. you, you oh, lose God. consciousness Ow. Whoa. Mm. sounds like a standard Saturday morning doesn't it <laughs> 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 um, shit that didn't work <laughs> Ulskar um, oh. You don't know how long you've been on the road for. You know, uh, you haven't seen anything of the others since they were taken. You think maybe days have passed. You've been moved from wagon to wagon, always had the bag over your head, just been shoved around places. You haven't been fed um, in the whole time. You haven't had any food or really any water uh, in days. Uh, As you kind of reach down, you can feel your ribs um, through the side of you as you're rapidly uh, losing weight. Um, as you lie on the floor um, somebody comes over and just pours water o- dirty water over your head over the top of the sack what? Uh, as you lie there um, I suck a bit out of the fabric <laughs> you do and that is um, over the next few days you realise that is the only way you get any water that is that is how they are <laughs> and you Uthgar becomes semi semi uh, adept at sucking water through a bag <laughs> <laughs> you are now an expert in. I am now. Can I, I'm going to put a level in it. No, he's, uh, he stated semi adept. Semi adept. Right? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I would say using. I, I'll be trained and not expert at bag sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever you ever sucked a damp bag? <laughs> <laughs> Should try it, mate. I'll tell you what. Feel like a sea cucumber just lying there. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> uh, do I get any little bits of food in the water as well? I mean, yeah, I mean it's got minerals in it, so oh, you know, yeah. it gradually absorb some of those. <laughs> Splendid. Dirty minerals. Ed Johnson. Um, oh, God. It has, been, it has been a couple of weeks um, that you've been on the road. Um, you look at a few times they've taken the bag off your head. You've looked around and you can just see um, shambling 
a re- shambling armies of skeletons and um, corpses in full armor. Some of them are marching, and you're kind of being moved back through the lines uh, on the backs of wagons. Uh, every now and then, you've caught glimpses of other wagons that have, seem to have prisoners in, and you wonder if some of them are um, are pay- maybe your companions. Um, they travel relentlessly. They barely stop. Um, they only stop when they need to wait for transport. So when they re- uh, one time when they reach a river, um, they basically build a cage out of um, sticks and just shove you in there. Your white suit is just caked with filth now from it. <laughs> it's not happy. The moustache is drooping. Um, you haven't been fed any. You're like, kind of left sitting in this tiny cage. Uh, and after a little while, like once they're locked, they basically ignore you. They never reply to any questions. Um, a rat runs into the cage and just kind of looks up at you uh, and squeaks um, and then comes over and just starts trying to nibble at your shoe um, as you're sat in there. Would you like to do anything? Suck it. <clears throat> There's a rat in my cage. What am I going to do? There's a rat in my cage. Nice. I'm going to kick that rat. Yeah, I'm going to kick the rat. You kick the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! The druid of life that was trying to save you transforms. Yes. She's yes. kicked back yeah. through the cage. And Shania <laughs> Rain, you take six points. <laughs> and you are dead. <laughs> uh, you kick the rat, it runs, uh, it scuttles away uh, and runs off. Uh, it hits the back of a uh, the foot of a ghoul. Uh, that is standing uh, with its long limbs it reaches down and just grabs it and just bites the head of the rat uh, and then wolfs it down as it looks back at you Broombone another week later uh, you are being led along in in chains you have a a chain around your neck Um, you haven't seen your familiar since you were all gathered You you are hoping that it got away and then for the first time as you're brought down you're somewhere near the edge of maybe the sea, maybe a lake. But you're certainly being put onto ships. There are these huge ships with tattered sails, crewed by the dead, um, as you're dragged along. And as you look up in the night sky, you see a white bat flying o- uh, overhead, keeping tabs with you um, as you're flying. And it keeps on. You can see, looking out across the water, a sort of misty lake um, up ahead. Fulton Battlestone. You are being dragged from a ship um, by a pair of skeletons uh, and pulled along the causeway towards a dull grey castle on an island surrounded by purple mists. Um, There is a a swirling purple energy storm just kind of swirling around and it swirls in front of you cutting off the castle as they stop one of the skeletons waves its hand and the curtain kind of parts and they're able to lead you through as you step over the drawbridge you can just hear somewhere below you just the sounds of just hundreds of hungry creatures just baying and snapping somewhere below uh, as you're led into the castle and a few hours later all of you awake in the same room you are in a grey stone cell it is uh, not very big sort of uh, maybe 10 foot across it's sort of enough that you're all, you are all chained to the wall with manacles you are all feeling uh, you are all feeling very rough you have half of your starting hit points um, and you are all drained to Drained condition, which Ross will look up for us uh, in just a moment. Over to condition corner. With condition Ross. corner. Take take a status penalty uh, or status penalty uh, equal to the value of on Constitution based checks, such as fortitude saves. You also lose hit points equal to your level times the drained value, and your maximum hit point is drew, reduced by the same amount. Um, when you get when you get a full night's rest, your drain value is reduced by one. Okay, so don't you worry about the hit points so much. So it's just basically minus two anyway. to constitution base rolls and so DCs. Minus two to uh, to fortune saves are the main things you'll use that for. Mm-hmm. Um, the room is um, the room is quite dark, and there is some water dripping in. It is very cold here. That's one of the things you'd notice about whatever this fortress is, uh, and this is the first time that any of you have seen each other since you were all taken. Um, Looking around, 
everyone looks like crap. Like you all look like you've been marched. It has been, it has been maybe a couple of weeks that you've been force marched since the fight uh, until you've been brought here, and this is the first time that you've been kind of left in a room together. Um, some of the skeletons brought you in manacled you all here and just left you hanging from the walls your feet are just about touching the floor um, just as you're sort of coming around the door opens uh, and in strides uh, a particularly tall skeletal figure it has a sort of it is about eight feet tall but its spine is is hunched over and curled so that it kind of curls back down to uh, to that sort of six feet high um, its jaw is dislocated and kind of just hangs and it wears a ragged hood um, over its back and sort of dark it has um, uh, faded silver armour and a black cloak hanging down the back of it Um, and as it walks um, you see it kind of its arms almost brush through itself slightly um, and it seems to be almost there but not there some of the time it is flanked by a, uh, a skeleton dressed in full armour um, with a sword at its side. The, uh, the figure just stops and looks and walks along all of you, um, sniffing until it gets to Fulton. It looks at Fulton and goes... You are one from elsewhere. You were in Neomethas. I spit at him in his face, in his bony face. You spit in his face and it goes through him and lands on the floor. It hits the skeleton. Oh, come on, boss! <laughs> <laughs> he looks up, he looks you up and down and says, You are the dwarf. The dwarf who found the shards where is the other shard I'm not telling you nothing so you can do whatever you're gonna do but I won't tell you a goddamn thing what is Rasmir planning has he betrayed us I look at him steely glared and just don't say anything <clears throat> you will talk uh, he tur- he uh, reaches f- uh, to the skeleton the skeleton hands him a knife and he takes the knife uh, and just looks around all of you um, he takes the knife and walks towards Uthgar and just starts holding the knife towards Uthgar's face uh, as he reaches out oh no no there's no need for that my bony chum <laughs> I couldn't trouble you for a glass of water and maybe or maybe a bit of steak or something I'm famished there is a knock at the door and the door opens another skeleton pokes its head in and it says the Ravana has attacked the south wall again the, uh, the creature turns and goes Ugh. it looks among all of you and it, says, it then turns back to Fulton and says you will talk you will tell us in time you have no hope um, it hands the knife to the other to the skeleton guard and it looks and says leave the dwarf kill one of them I would be back to see if he talks then uh, and with that, the large creature turns and just walks, uh, and half walks through the door as the other skeleton is closing it and disappears off. You are left with uh, just the one skeleton um, in the room um, holding the knife. Okay. It looks around and goes. It goes over to Ed uh, and just immediately just plunges the knife into um, into Ed's side. Uh, Ed, you take. Oh. Ed, you take three points of damage, and we're going to roll for initiative. Why don't you kill yourself? Because this has suddenly <laughs> become time sensitive. Ooh. Ooh, flipping heck. All right. Yes, I might be a dehydrated uh-huh. prune of a barbarian, but <laughs> I've still got some initiative left, boys. Chivan. Uh, 24. 
24. Good one for Kivan. Brimbone? Uh, 14. Brimbone is not dealing well in these kind of situations. Uthgar? 30. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, yes, I've got a super high initiative. Fulton? 19. 19. Fulton. And Ed Johnson? 15. 15 for Ed. All right. So, just to be clear, we have no weapons. You have no weapons. You are wearing rags, basically. Yeah. You're just wearing... So you have none of your equipment with okay. you currently. Um, just our wits. So the first person to react as the creature just stabs Ed Johnson uh, is Uthgar. You're the first one to kind of get your wits about you. Right. At the sight of him stabbing uh, my brown ragged friend... Not white anymore, unfortunately, but never mind. Um, can I make a strength check against the manacles? It's an athletics check to try oh. and break the manacles. Now, do I have a minus to this? Uh, not to strength, no. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll try and break the manacles. Oh, it's not a great roll. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. You strain against the chains, but you don't manage to break <sighs> them as you struggle and pull. Can against. I try again? You can try again. You'll have a minus five to this because it counts as an attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. 14. A 14. You just strain Actually, against the do chains. Do you know what? I'll see if I get a natty 20. Here we All go. Right. Here we go. There's nothing one else one. I can do, really. Come on. He's not within strut. I can't kick him right No, you can't. Damn it. It's still not good enough. That's that's another dirty 20. Another dirty 20. So, so Uka just stra- it's just hammering. It's a tra- change trying you to get free, but you're not bastard. able to rip them free. Um, Kivan. Um, what kind of a check would, would it be if I wanted to try and wriggle out of? Uh, or That would be a thievery check to try right, and, to and, to try and escape, them, escape right, from right, the bombs. Okay. Yeah. Let me just see what's Where am I on? The James no. Boss. Um, Escape from the bomb? Uh, yeah. Um, All right. I mean, I'll, g- I'll give that a go. Yeah. I'll give that a go. Um, because I think in order to use electric arc, I'd need a hand thing. You will need to get to your hands free, one. yeah. Okay, so... 21. 21. You can almost get your hand loose of one of them, but not quite. Damn. I mean, I've got to try again. I don't know. There's nothing. It's going to be a minus five right. to it, though, right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You can do things that don't require moving. You can hunt. I'm uh, afraid you can do things like that. But. Um, I mean, that's no, that's going to be 20. So All right. No, no, 15. 15. Um, so that's definitely not going to be... Um, no, I mean, that. I don't... This, this, my, how many minus is it this time? It's minus 10 to this one. Yeah, so it's okay. 17. So struggling for it you just cannot get loose you're trying everything you can to try and get free nope. both of you are just straining against the chains but you're not able to get loose the next person to act uh, in this is the jailer again uh, who drives the knife further into Ed <laughs> Ed takes it's only one point of damage this time but he just keeps pushing the knife in um, come on you got, it, you got a muscly on. side Fulton you're going to pay um, for this so the ha- uh, hands by, uh, by bound to the wa- wall, yeah. but our uh, legs. Your legs are not. Your legs are on the. Uh, I'm going to call. I'm going to shout something to the jailer. Okay. And say, "I'll talk. Leave him alone. The, Come uh, here." The jailer pauses uh, and then withdraws the knife from Ed uh, <sighs> and walks over towards where you are. And then its head to the side. As soon as he gets close enough, I'm going to try and maneuver my legs up so I'm like straddling his like neck with my feet my, with my legs <laughs> oh, dangerous <and> little legs <laughs> dangerous <laughs> little <laughs> legs it's like Xena I mean, on a top from I mean, uh, um, he's gonna have Black again. Widow yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's gonna have to get widow. pretty close isn't he I mean that's, you're gonna that's nice. you're gonna strangle him yeah yeah cool cool skeleton. no what skeleton. I, no skeleton. but I mean is <laughs> then I'm gonna grapple him so that he's and then I'm gonna that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So. All right, go ahead. It's going to be an athletics check to try and cool, wrap good. yourself around his neck. <laughs> this uh, is tremendous. That is a uh, 17. A 17. That doesn't. Uh, a 17 doesn't get it. He's got uh, DC how many, 18. Uh, how many 
So that's Move. one action you've used. You kind of just <laughs> flew it again. <laughs> like just sort of just slapping against the wall <laughs> like a sort of little fish. <laughs> is this a minus or not? You've got minus five to this. Okay, yeah, so again. that is uh, 25, so it's a 20. <laughs> a 20. You get him. Yeah. yeah. Just like, he steps back and he's like, huh? and then you just jump up again <laughs> and wrap your, t- your legs around his neck. Uh... Okay. Uh, now. now I. <laughs> now. Got it's okay because you the car. Now what? <laughs> yep. You've, you've caught yourself a jailer who's got a knife, and now has he got any? Has he got keys on him? Or uh, like anything? Are you going to use your tongue to get them off? I mean, what what parts of your body have you got left? No, got, just checking. Just checking. He's got key, he has got keys on his belt. Yeah. Um, uh, is there a way that I can, like, whilst straddling him, mm-hmm. grab his grab his <laughs> knife that he's got? Because he must be like, oh, with, like this with his hands, right? right? You, your arms aren't free. No, I'm doing it. Oh, with yeah, your, that's true. Yeah. 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 Damn. You, you didn't I'll get your just, toes. I'll just, I'll just punch him in the head. I'll just punch him in the head. Again, your, like, your, your arms are <laughs> your arms. <laughs> just a second ago. Would you All like right, us I'll to just... demonstrate against the wall just how it is? Can like... I use my stu- <laughs> headbutt maybe? Right, no, yeah. no. No, we don't really. Right, no. All right. I got it now, I got it. Okay. Right, can I use my powerful thighs <laughs> to... <laughs> Bolton's powerful thighs. Can I use my powerful thighs to squeeze his head yeah. off of his yeah. off crush his bones? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna nut crack his head <laughs> between your powerful this thighs. This could work. This okay. could fucking work. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm intrigued and aroused. It's a so. minus ten, but it is a, effectively an unarmed attack. You can uh, make a yeah. <laughs> got, any, got any hero points to go with that? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'll use all your heroes. All right, roll yeah. twice, take the better. Okay, so what do I use so, in terms of like to hit? Do you, do you know Is what? It no, just I'll, I'll donate you. Can I donate him yes, a hero you can. point? Chuck me because I've got, I've got. Here, all right, you can give me that. Give it to yeah, me. Yeah, all right, right. I'm, I'm donating the hero. Oh. Hold on a second. Was that the first time one of our new danger points has been used? Yeah. Why? Yes, it is. Sound effect. Insert sound effect here, Colin. It's a. I think. I believe it's called a sting. Nice. When you put that's no, they, like, they're, they're called danger points. We went over that yeah. a few times. <laughs> no, no, no. So there was sting if you no, like, the sound into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. The sound effect for the danger point is called a sting. Uh, in the podcast uh, world, can it that's actually cool. be sting? Yeah, it can be sting. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> so every, every time, Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it from now on. Whenever <laughs> someone spends a danger point, <laughs> one of us has to <laughs> sing Roxanne. <laughs> Love it. Um, so what would I have to do to hit because my like to hit with a great axe is plus 15 Um, so what would it be you're using powerful thighs (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. do you get any bonuses to hit from your great axe from have you got any abilities that make you better with great axe yes Um, I got weapon dwarven weapon familiarity okay so it should be your proficient because you are proficient yeah um, you might even be expert proficiency plus point. strength All right um, plus your strength mod so my proficiency is plus 11 and okay. my plus is my yeah my strength is plus yeah so it would be the same okay right? it's plus 4 and my proficiency 4 th- yeah yeah, I mean, if if this is wrong, then I definitely think Nostrix or someone else is going to Alakar gonna, or someone's going to go. No, that's wrong. You were come wrong. Come at us, dwarven thigh master <laughs> rules yes. lawyers. This is a whole yeah, new right. branch. Anyway, of I'm going to. You got a minus ten. You got two chances. Okay, so that is a uh, blah, 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 twenty-one. So that's eleven. An eleven. So okay, one. does not beat his armor class. Oh, oh, oh! There's sixteen on the die. So that's 21 with the minus 10. 21 with the minus 10. That is a hit. Yes. yes. Bolts and battle stones. You deal yeah. thunder nice. thighs. You thunder deal. thighs. That's the move. <laughs> yes. I used to get called that. Yeah. This, cool. is, this is the, the damage. damage. Of a it's new... 1d4 plus your strength mod. Okay, so it's unarmed damage. Four, so this, plus 4. This is definitely the beginning of a new martial art. The powerful thighs. Thigh fist. Uh... So that's 
Jesus. <laughs> I just saw Iron Fist and then it said Thigh Fist. I don't know why. <laughs> it's oh, not Iron Thigh. Yeah, fist. not, not yeah, Iron Thighs. Thigh. No, Thigh Fist. It's got fists thigh. like thighs. <laughs> <laughs> or just like thighs look a bit like fists. Or, or just he's got a fist on his thigh. Oh. That he's sort oh. of <laughs> oh, it's like a pocket me. <laughs> just, ima- <Down> here. <laughs> just imagining the guy, the guy from Jaws telling the story. He's got thighs like a fist. Fists <laughs> like thighs. That's seven damage. <laughs> seven damage. Seven points of dwarven thigh damage. <laughs> yes. Which I'm sure nobody will begrudge us. Uh, Fulton, you wrap your legs around his head and just start crushing the skeleton. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure we can all agree the thighs have it. I, mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> I will I will gladly allow that. Uh, Ed Johnson, it's your go. All right, okay. So he's mercifully stopped stabbing you. Uh, yeah. I'd like to hunt prey on him first. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, you hunt prey. Any information? Yeah, give about us a quick knowledge check. Give us a quick. Um, uh, I think it will be nature. A nature check. Ooh, oh, it? nature! nature. <laughs> I thought you were doing a um, whatever that guy with the space. You know, the spaceman does. Don't worry. <laughs> just thought I'd Bro, talk out loud. Right, right. He's, he's just, he's just, yeah, he's yeah, all side up. Sure. What's his name? The Neil Armstrong. No, the guy Brian, isn't, his face? Yeah, Brian Cox. Brian, Brian Cox. Cox. Oh, yeah, right. You yeah, were doing yeah, yeah, him. The yeah. spaceman. <laughs> spaceman. <laughs> isn't space. It was great. a 25, by the way. That's a 25. All right. Space. This is a, uh, this is a skeletal champion. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is a kind of intelligent undead. Uh, so it is going to it is immune to a lot of the same things you would expect for undead uh, death effects disease paralysis poison unconsciousness it's resistant to cold electricity fire piercing and slashing but not bludgeoning um, crucially it is not immune to mind affecting effects like it is it has a mind oh. so that's worth mm. knowing um and it has attack of opportunity. You say it's intelligent, Dan, but at the moment it's being it's being wrestled by <laughs> Fulton's crotch. So <laughs> that's got to not, that's got to take some stat damage for his that's intelligence, um, isn't it? I mean, that's a that's good good knowledge though, because I was I was planning on doing some electricity attacks. So thanks very much for that. Well, he yeah, hasn't yeah, said anything yeah. yet. Thank you. I uh, I was just about to say. Okay. Uh, I regale that information. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ed Johnson. Thank you very much, Ed Johnson. Yeah. And uh, I w- can I can I reach him from where I am with a foot? Uh, not really. No. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I will try. <laughs> All right. To uh, wriggle or, or thievery. What have I got in thievery? Well, thievery, thievery or, or athletics. athletics. Yeah. yeah. Athletics. Yeah, I'm gonna tr- I'm gonna try and thieve my way out of right. these shackles. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. They're not on my feet. They're on my arms. <laughs> They're on my arms. Just as an extra <laughs> fuck you, they put Ed Johnson upside down. Like <laughs> yeah. everyone else is my red. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's a, like that's a nineteen. It's a 19, that ain't gonna do it. Come on! It's because Ed Johnson never gave up his secret recipe of herbs and spices, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's their next interrogation. <laughs> Alright, I got one you more. You will tell us the secret ingredients. One more action. Come on, mate. Let's, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Minus five on this one. It's a natural one. <laughs> oh. It's because we built it up. Yeah. It's nice to see that some traditions don't dispel with time. You blurt out the secret recipe for herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's cayenne. It's cayenne pepper. <laughs> cayenne pepper, damn you. <laughs> um, Brimbone, um, as you are uh, as you are struggling uh, up at the little window next to you, uh, a small figure flutters onto it. Uh, and you feel a surge of energy emanate from it uh, as your uh, as your spells are renewed as oh. if you had had a night's rest. So you basically get oh, you don't get any hit points back, but your the re- sudden reconnection with your familiar re uh, energizes your spells. I have to restart this. I've been planning for the past ten minutes <laughs> what to do with just my cantrips, and I had like a plan. Now I've got. A- so I've got so many options. Bear in um, mind, anything with a somatic component is out currently because you, unless you can get your hands free. I'm just thinking of all the times where Scott's done a really cool description of his spells, and they're always like, I flick with my hand, my palms uh, <laughs> are tattooed, yeah. my fingernail moves, and oh dear. <laughs> you have to learn to do stuff with your feet now. 
yeah. my toe. <laughs> Can't even hunt that prey. I'd like to hunt that prey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Brim Brown's going to have to bust out that regrettable ankle tattoo he got in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twist, <laughs> twist the bamboo tattoo. <laughs> It was yes. meant to be the Lion King, and I was a bit drunk. Um, you should learn how to cast spells by quivering your powerful thighs. That's what the Bolton's <laughs> going to be doing. Just sort of like, I haven't got, I haven't got a spell that, that, that it would be useful in this situation, this situation that doesn't involve a somatic component. So, um, have a nap. That was. Um, I mean, you could you could try and get free. Yeah, whatever. Brimbone. <laughs> um, I could. I mean, if you use, you can, you don't have to use strength. You could use thievery. I could talk my way out of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Also, not great. Um, what's in What's in reach of my legs? Uh, in reach of your legs. I mean, just about Kivan. <laughs> Kick him. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. You're all right. Um, well, now, when you say like somatic components yeah. like moving like wrists and stuff mm-hmm. you know like the manacles around the wrists aren't they mm. you know so you can still gesture with your hands and your fingers you know <laughs> I think unfortunately the- <laughs> it, it, you are restrained effectively so yeah okay. you cannot yeah. I'm guessing because we're restrained like that yeah. you're kind of pulling on the mm. yeah yeah we're all just doing that spat in the face bit in Monty yeah. Python yeah that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking yeah. Oh, well, I won't give to be spat out in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I go, um, ah, Bartleby, you are safe and you have returned. Now my eldritch power flows back from my veins and I will... Ah, uh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> but Bartleby, can you pick a lock? <laughs> bat picking a lock. <laughs> <laughs> Bartleby, well, got, Bartleby got listen to me ve- very carefully. I know I don't ask much of you, but this is time efficient and, and very crucial. Get those keys that are on the jailer's belt. Get Ooh. them, Bartleby. <laughs> Get them, and I will reward you with many moths. Bartleby yeah. flies over to the jailer as it is wrestling <laughs> with Fulton. <laughs> uh, that is a thievery check for Bartleby. I believe Bartleby just uses your proficiency bonus without any um, without any um, normal bonus. Is this going to be um, like the mask where he just goes for the cheese instead of the keys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the cheat, the keys. <laughs> Comes back with a leg. <laughs> yeah. Which Guardians of the Galaxy Two totally stole? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I just realised that when they go off to find them. Oh yeah, yeah. How dare they? How dare they? Twenty-two. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Bartleby takes the keys from the creature's yes! belt while it's wrestling yes. and flutters <laughs> back and puts a key in your hand. Oh, wait, could you actually do it? Because I'm, I mean, my arms are... This is very impressive of you, but I, I can't get to the manacles, can I? You probably <laughs> could stretch, you probably like, probably just about, okay, like... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll see. like a bar. I was thinking, like, um, I was thinking, like, a sex dungeon rather than, like, an actual dungeon. Uh, I mean, we, we all were, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find the quick relief. You give the give the skeleton your safe word. <laughs> all right, I, uh, I, I take the key from Bartleby being like, Good, but yes. Yeah, I've got to find out who made you at some point. Uh, you're more intelligent than me. And, uh, uh, and I unlock the thing you unlock yourself from the manacles you are free from the manacles you have one action left because yeah. you use one to command Bout of Bartleby one to unlock yourself if I was just to pull on the legs of the skeleton champion would the pressure from Thornton's thighs just <laughs> pop his head off <laughs> it would it'd be another the skeleton champion would then be grabbed by two people uh, which would it wouldn't increase the penalties um, but it would <laughs> it would help <laughs> No, I am. I am very feeble. And what's on the floor? Is there any like small? Is there like pebbles or something? Like yeah, that? yeah. There's there's rocks and stuff around. It. Now I am free, and I can unleash my full uh, eldritch might upon you. I just point out a rock and just flick it up towards the skeleton. You the telekinetic projectile. projectile a rock at the skeleton. Roll to hit. Twenty nine. 29 critical nice. hit. Nice. That's, it. That's, it. That's it. Critical pebble hit. 1d6 plus one mod. 1d6 plus one mod is nine, but what happens on a critical hit? Uh, the damage is doubled. Roll twice. Uh, no, you do- just doubled. Doubled the. Uh, no double card. Thing, so. Double total damage. Um, uh, not with that because it's not a natural 20. You only get a card on a natural 20. Ah. 10 over, you just double the damage. So was it nine points of damage? Yes, I rolled. Doubled to 18. Jeez. You splinter the skeleton's head Sick. as it's between eyes. It just pops off. 
Um, and Fulton is just left with a skull between his thighs <laughs> oh, as the skeleton drops to amazing. the ground is and it, collapses. Have we just created Murray? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fear me! Oh, no, 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 my body's gone. Um, <laughs> I just killed your jailer. I just yes. turn around and I just, I cautiously put up a little hand to see if Bartleby high-fives me. Um, Bartleby looks at, Bartleby just regards you uh, as if he's still trying to work you out. Um, yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. But, but good job. Uh, but Brimbone falls over. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, you, you have killed your guard. Uh, the guard lies what? defeated in front of you. That, that was amazing, lads. I'm very impressed. Um, uh, Brimbone, any chance of a freebie? Yeah. Like free me wrists in there? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Can I hey, can, as God, just try a strength check anyway to see sure. if I can see it. He's just still intent on breaking these things. Uh, nah. Uh, you could have raged. <laughs> well, that would have helped. I could have. Mm, yeah, true. 21 wouldn't get it. Yeah. I go around and I, oh, unlock, well. uh, I unlock the other guys one by one, okay. just leaving Uthgar because I'm like, I think we need to let Uthgar do this. <laughs> 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 I think he really needs this. Uh, All right, nah. that's just really weak. Oh! Ah, that'll do it. That's uh, 32. 32. Finally, after, every, <laughs> after everyone's kind of free, and uh, Fulton kind of drops to the floor and lands on his bum with the skull still between your legs. Sutton, <laughs> um, hurry. Um, you, land, uh, you land on the ground. Finally, Uthgar just strains and rips the manacles from the wall. He does the crab, and then he goes to punch the skeleton, and he's like, oh, oh, oh it's done again. Brimbone wow. just looks at Keyvan and goes, see, you wanted to get him a colouring book. <laughs> <laughs> I do like colouring books. I tell you what, I feel really weak. I feel like my soul is having a migraine. Where it's, are we? Oh, it's a bad place. Dan, is Ed going to take any persistent damage from that uh, wound, or is it just... No, he's not. He's not. Like, he feels... Feels like Ed feels really shit. Okay, but like, yeah. Um, you're, you're can Kevin have, 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 have a little look at it and try and patch it up as best as can using using his medicines? You can. I mean, I'm a lot. I feel like shit, but well, can you do uh, yeah, I, I, I know, mate. But I just I just feel better if you know we try to protect against infection or anything because there's a lot of rotting flesh around these areas, and you know I don't want to you know I don't want to don't want to take any risks. You're probably so give right. A, give me a medicine check. Uh, it's nineteen. Uh, a 19 uh, I think that will probably do it um, so yeah you managed to patch Ed up and you I'll rip a bit of his rip a bit of his dirty thing off him he's not probably not happy about the it cleanest bit. <laughs> the cleanest yeah. bit yeah the one the, the one the bit one of clean that you white. kept that yeah, kept yeah. you going over the weeks you kept sorry about that mate white. gotta keep it clean very important for wounds so and then tie it up and it... I just before Kivan does that I just sterilise it with a little zap of electric arc yeah. the blast yeah. off yeah. <laughs> good work right I mean well, you know, whilst we're in a sex dungeon why <laughs> <laughs> Sure, yeah. Well, we gotta get out of here. Well, yeah, how are we gonna do that? We've got the key. We, we, we do have the hey. keys. We've got this dagger as well. Picks up the. Yeah. Mm. All right, we've got a dagger and some keys. What about and, if we break and, some and, 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 and a lot of stealth, actually. Uh, the skeleton also has a long sword, so you have a long sword at your disposal. Right. Someone take the. Uthgar, I'd say, take the long sword. Oh, yes. All right. Can we break um, some of these bones and use them as stem and weapon? You could, I mean, you can. any of the bones could be used as a club. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. so club. the rest of us take a bone. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to do something. And he plays the ribcage like a xylophone. Everyone has a little jig. I just always wanted to do like. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, right, okay, now listen, lads. Um, I can help, I can stealth us, all right, if you stay nice and close to me, all right, I can get us into a nice stealthy position, all right, and keep us nice and quiet, all right, all right? but uh, we've got to stick close together, okay, and not make any sudden moves or, or, or attack anything unless we absolutely have to. We, we all did. clear about that? Got it. Dan, we don't well, have our armour on, do we? You or don't currently have your armour on, there. Alrighty, that means I'm like paper. Uh, what are <laughs> yeah. the stats for the sword? Uh, you can just tell me this, mate. Uh, the oh. stats for the sword are it does one d it does one d eight damage. One d eight damage. One d eight. Plus yeah. any strength bonuses and things like Brimbo that. Brimbo nods and listens to Kevan very sincerely and goes, "Yes, we should absolutely do that." Um, and then flexes three of his fingers and pulls down a shoulder. The tattoo on his back glows, and he casts invisibility spear on everybody. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh. Thanks, mate. Being quiet will also help. 
absolutely I mean yeah well like will it help to stealth as well as invisibility yeah. oh yeah, yeah. But you still might be able to hear, hear you if you don't yeah, make so, okay so yeah we'll do the stealth as well um, how long yeah. does invisibility sphere last 10 minutes 10 minutes okay that's not too bad okay so you peer indeed the key does fit the lock uh, of the prison of the prison cell door and you're able to kind of have a peer outside you can see there is a corridor that seems to stretch uh, away off to the north uh, but it also stretches away over it. Uh, you've seen to be in the corner basically so it goes to the north but it also goes to the west um, and as you uh, give me a perception check whoever's listening at the door uh, the stealth was 31 by 31. the way okay cool 15 15 well everyone gets the 31 cool. that I got because I've got a, oh cool yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. cool <clears throat> thanks man okay perfect uh, right what would you like to do I mean, with a stealth of 31 and being invisible, we could do whatever the fuck we like. I mean, like <laughs> yeah, that's so the phone again. <laughs> Just yeah. rave all the way out. Jeez. Um, can I make another perception check to see if I can hear anything from either direction? Like, is in any noises or anything? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, oh, natural one. Hey. Natural one. Quick, I, I see him sort of struggling, and this guard like to step forward and, and give it a go himself. Uh, yeah, that's squinting. 22. How do you see somebody struggling to hear footsteps? <laughs> well, well like, I, ooh, you see so me just, just squinting ooh. like it. Yeah, he's like trying to see the sound. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's taking a few knocks. <laughs> so you're about to open the door of the cell and you hear footsteps coming um, from the uh, from the north. And as you wait, you see a uh, you see five ghouls. That's four ghouls and one that looks bigger, that's more muscular. Has um, sort of longer teeth that just come sloping around the corner. Uh, all right. Walk around. They stop as they get near the cell and kind of look at it. But you're all invisible. They don't see anything through the cell door. They kind of sniff and then just keep walking uh, off to the west. And the footsteps gradually disappear. Okay, lads. Now's our chance. Let's get the hell out of here. Would they be? Go. But yeah. they, that that fellow or whatever said that there was an attack are they going towards the attack or did they come from like some barracks in well, the north I, I, they didn't look very uh, you know um, uh, they weren't in a on hurry alarm. They? yeah no. exactly they just right. thought taking easy listen we've only got 10 minutes of this invisibility we need to shift it alright let's get out of here so uh, we go to the north decisions and go yeah, where they yeah, came yeah, from or where they're going yeah, where they, how about where they came from that way we're not following them is there any sort of check we could make, Dan, to like kind of maybe uh, get an inkling from what they said? What, or, or just sort of get I mean, our bearings at all? Yeah, did, yeah, they, yeah. did they look like they were rushing or did it just... No, like, no, they didn't look like... They were looking around. Mm. Um, if you had to guess, you'd say they looked more like they were patrolling than they were sort of going anywhere particular. Right, right. Brimbone is just looking at the keys in his hand and he just looks up at the rest and says, we have to free the others. Aye, that's I true. Know, I know we've only got a few minutes, and I know it's very risky, but if we're in All this right. position, we can't live with ourselves if we go past and let You're these right. people succumb oh, to this Good point, let's do it. Right. Let's do it as quickly as we can. Okay. Where's the nearest other cell? Oh, also, maybe someone else could have some more knowledge on what was, what's going on here. Where's the nearest other place? Okay, so you go out into the corridor uh, and kind of look around. You notice if you go up to the north, uh, the corridor carries on up to the north and then back around to the west, uh, but about halfway up it, there is a door on the um, on the eastern side, um, and there is a flight of stairs going up. Does um, so the door on the eastern side look like it was is similar to our door? Like um, it's a heavy wooden door. Mm. It's currently closed. Mm. We saw other wagons, didn't we, back in the back in the day when? Yeah. We, we, you did see other wagons, but you were, it was so hard to tell how yeah. many people they had with them if they brought anyone else. Go towards the door. Listen at the door. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Give us a uh, set. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. There Nine. does Nine. not. You don't hear anything from the other side of the door. There's nothing behind this. Let's try a key in it. Let's do it. You try the key. Uh, just, 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 just before I do that, okay. I just um, uh, pick Uthgar and Kivan and just cast Soothe on both of them, which gives Ooh. you one d10 plus four hit points back. Oh, oh nice. nice. That's twelve for. Othgar. Oh god, I'm sorry, Kivan. Uh, that's only five for Kivan. That's fine, nice. thank you very much. Nice. I feel soothed, but still thirsty and really hungry. <laughs> uh, 
you open the door and look in uh, there are boxes and uh, bags that seem to be strewn everywhere and as you look around it uh, you see a familiar edge you see a familiar looking crossbow sticking out of one of the uh, the bags and as you run over and have a look you see that it has uh, all of your possessions in it indeed as you shuffle through it you find all of your equipment is in this room I just start, yeah. like chucking things to people like are there any cinematically uh, there are some there are some provisions as well nice so wolf this down, guy's yeah he straps on his breastplate sort of tosses the, the long sword rather contemptuous to the side and then starts eating yeah okay. rations rations oh, rations. I'm f- I'm so you can spend 10 minutes eating food um, which will uh, <laughs> if you like and putting on all your equipment and everything it will obviously that will use up the time left on the uh, invisibility sphere right. um, yeah. but it will allow you to regain some of your strength that you've lost <sighs> uh, <laughs> right. what do we do carry and move strength if we're allowed to like just draw our weapons though right we could just won't be able to put our armor on um Maybe. yeah you'd need because you did about 10 minutes to properly put your armor on the decision i guess is if we're if we're intending to f- stick around and free people then we'll need to use the 10 minutes to solidify ourselves and rebuckle everything on and if we intend to just leave then we'd lose the last eight minutes of the spell just to get out of place uh survival did we, did or we, heroic did we see any other cells uh you didn't see any you didn't see any other cells, no. Mm. You don't I'd, think there's I'd, anybody else here, do you? Well, I, to be honest, it's unlikely. I'm surprised we were prisoners, to be honest. I think it's just because, you know, Fulton knows something about... What was it? Shards or something? Is I wasn't... Sh- I was sort of phasing out, to be honest. No, the There's these shards. They're really powerful. And I guess these guys... We've got one. My, my team. Oh. Um, and... But These what, guys must be looking minute, for them as well. The shard that you found, where hey. is it? Is it here? Have we got it now? It's mm. not among the things. Here. Son of a bitch, we need to go and get it then. Oh, they're re- it's really powerful apparently. And these guys, well, they must be looking for, there's loads of them. Which means that they do not have it on them, which means it will not be here, which means if you don't have it and they don't have it, then it's not here. We shouldn't go looking for it here. Oh, we should have put you, it here. You, you don't think it's here? Well, if it was here, then they'd have it. Hang on. No, no, no there's no, no, more no, than one. It. Do you remember that green thing that you found, uh, the, you know, your your girls? Yes. After the eyes thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Fulton had that, it. so... I yeah. think they've got the one that Fulton had, and they're after the other one that the Danger Club, which is his team, his crew, his Danger companions. Club. Yeah, I know. What a ridiculous name. Danger Club. <laughs> well, like I was uh, <laughs> an honorary <laughs> member for a while. Oh, I was so never sure about the name. Do they the only name. go around? Are they, they're like a league, which would, uh, I mean, I suppose it sort of works. And it, it, it <laughs> sounds works. like something I belong to as a child. <laughs> do they? Do they yeah, it sounds like it an does seem kind of yeah. childish, yeah. Do they just like, create danger? Is that part no, of the like manifesto? No, like danger. Dan- uh, we, we are like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It really doesn't matter right now. <laughs> hang on. Hang what on. I'm trying to say is they are going after the other one. That's why they kept multiple us shards, and my team's got one, and we found one in that place. They must be looking f- for them. Maybe if you put them all together, it makes one big shard. <laughs> and then I you mean, can go and visit. Terrifying. I mean, you go shopping in it. And then hang on. If you put a shards together, wouldn't it make whatever it was in the first place before it became a bunch of shards? That well, sounds. Everybody, shut correct. up. We've got about four minutes left on the spell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's let's so, leave. Oh. If we find any prisoners on the way, then we'll, we'll on the All way right. out. Then we'll rescue them. So we'll leave. We're not going to look for the shard. No, 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 no. I, 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 okay, we're, fine. We're, we're deep in a in a necromancer's castle. Okay. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. And that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Oh. Let's do one more of these. Let's do one more episode 100. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Where, where do we go? Back we only thought there was going to be part five, but there's part six coming. Back to the north mm. or to the west? Where are we going to go? Back I'm going to stand, so. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.